Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Nam Studios here and welcome back to another Ask Me Questions, The Answers. As always, thank you guys for asking me all the questions which you have done on the previous Ask Me Question video. I'm now gonna go through all the questions you guys have asked me. There's quite a lot of questions this week, so I'm gonna try and keep it brief and get straight to the point with them without going into too much. This video will be quite long, so just bear with me, but of course, you know, I'll get through all your questions, everything like that. So nevertheless, let's get started. So first of all, Jonathan Gibley asks, if I said that correct, he asked quite a few questions, which is good, thank you for them. He says, do you have a house tour planned? Well, I think I'd like to show different aspects of my house. For example, you know, I want to show you guys my gaming room once it's kind of this room, once it's kind of ready and set up. So I think, yes, it's on the cards, but the house needs, the house doesn't need, the house doesn't need a lot of work, but like, you know, it needs a repaint and it needs new flooring. And so, you know, like fresh carpets or fresh hard flooring. So it's kind of like, I don't want to show you guys it in its worst state, if that makes sense. So yes, maybe at some point in the future, once, once, you know, stuff gets renovated, but, um, I can certainly do a tour of my game room once it's a bit more set up, so yes. What's it like being a homeowner? Friggin' awesome. I can literally do what I want, when I want, with zero distractions. It's, it's bliss. You know, everything is how I want it. It's just, everything is just incredible. That's it, everything is just incredible. It's just, everything is to my like, my tasting. A lot of work to do, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of stuff to do and a lot of bits and bobs to sort out, but as far as I'm concerned, it is freaking incredible. Like you never see the day coming, but once you do it, it's like, wow, it's, you know, it's yours. So yeah, it's, it's freaking awesome. What are your fitness goals, sports you play? Well, I don't actually play any sports. Uh, fitness goals, I I don't really have any fitness goals. I mean, my daytime job, I'm a HGV driver, so I kind of sit on my ass all day, but I go running um, three, four times a week uh, because you, you know go running every other day to give your body a rest. So I, I go running every other day, you know, so yeah, you know, I've always been kind of, you know, a slim build. I've never been overweight or um, or underweight for that matter. I've always kind of been normal, which is great. You know, I have a balanced diet. You know, we all have takeout now and then, but I do eat quite good. I have cereal most kind of mornings and stuff like that. Healthy, you know, low sugar cereal, not, you know, chocolate cereal, anything like that. I have a fairly good lunch and a wrap, banana, apple, orange, and dinners, kind of whatever. So, yeah, I'm kind of always been that balance, which I think is the right. It's a balance of both, but I've always been healthy, and I'm sure the energy drinks I drink, there's enough vitamins in there to keep me immune for blooming, for blooming forever. But there we go. So yeah, not really any fitness goals, but just, just yeah, just really keep keep the same weight I am, and I even do my HGV job. I haven't put on any weight because, like I said, I eat good, and I go running, um, you know, three four times a week. So, do you still play Hearthstone? Yes, I've played Hearthstone for years now many years and I still play it in fact at the time you guys see this video there will be a Hearthstone video uploaded I plan to do way more Hearthstone content on my channel now I've got a proper stream camera and a you know proper PC with dual monitors and everything like that I plan to do way more Hearthstone content because I really really enjoy that game as you can see from the house yes I still play it always will play it because it's a long-term investment that game without with the amount of money you spend on it how long have you you and Becky been together Becky my girlfriend We've been together for three years, three years. So we went through kind of the first year together, then the pandemic hit and we had a whole year kind of, you know, not really seeing each other because of circumstances and, you know, me being a key worker and mixing out, I wasn't gonna, you know, go to um, any friends or family in case I picked it up from being a key worker. So yeah, about, about three years. What hobbies do you have outside of YouTube? Well, of course, YouTube is a hobby because I enjoy doing it. So I also enjoy hobbies kind of like, car modification and stuff like that so i have uploaded some car videos on my channel of like reviewing cleaning products so i really enjoy car cleaning and car detailing like i love cars i love modifying them customizing this customizing that i love cars and anything to do with cars you know racing around a track or going down the santa pod or a drag strip i love stuff like that so racing and kind of stuff like that as well as i just you know i like my tech i like gaming like most people do these days i kind of you know you know, I love my movies. I'm really, really invested into my movies big time, like especially with the Marvel franchise and DC franchise and all the films. I really, really, really love my films and stuff like that. I, I like most stuff to point to you. So I've, I've got, I've got probably too many hobbies and interests that take up too much of my time. But um, yeah, it's um, that's probably my hobbies outside of YouTube. 
Uh, let's see, do you stream? No, I actually, I really don't get stream. And I've said this before, I really find streaming probably the most stupid and inconvenient thing on the planet. I really don't understand who has time to stream or who has time to watch streamers because I just find it so pointless because you're sitting there literally just playing a game, just talking crap. And I'm like, how is this interesting? And because it's live, you can't fast forward parts of a video like you can on YouTube. So I'm a big believer in upload a video to YouTube so you can watch it in your time when you want to on your device as fast or as slow as you want. You can pause it because the things with a live stream, you're live. So as soon as you get a distraction, you, you can't watch that live stream or you can't do it. For example, if my favorite streamer, which I don't have any because I couldn't care less, if my favorite streamer is America, I'm not gonna get up at two o'clock in the morning to watch my favorite streamer because of the time difference. Like, who on earth's gonna get up at two o'clock in the morning or three or four or five to watch their favorite streamer? And I'm sorry, but who has time to watch streamers? Like, do not people work? I know it's mostly kids that watch streamers, but I'm like, do people not work? Like I said, I'm a HGV driver. How am I supposed to watch a streamer when I'm driving five days a week or just generally at work? And then I'm not gonna come home and then sit and watch a streamer for like four hours when I've got other stuff to do. I've got to cook, I've got to do this, I've got to make videos. I really don't get streaming at all. I think it's the most ridiculous and stupid thing on the planet, personally. <laughs> I really I really do not get it at all. And I won't be streaming for that matter as well, because I said it's... The problem is if I start streaming, you know, someone knocks on the door. What you gotta do, just leave your live stream, just plain open because someone knocks on the door. You know, you get a, a phone call from, I don't know, from wherever. So you've got to stop your live stream and have a phone call. You get messages on your group chat. You've got to stop your live stream. I don't get it. There's so many distractions when you're live streaming. And my PC just decided to break. Oh dear. Well, I'm going to jump cut because my PC just decided to uh, get the blue screen. That's not good. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Don't worry, my PC's okay. I think it just frisked out or something. Anyways, so where are we up to? We're up to do your stream. So yeah, like I was saying, the stream, and I just find it really inconvenient and just really just a pain in the backside, really. And just, yeah, not really that interesting. Anyways, uh, what kind of content do you have planned for the new house? A lot of new stuff. I plan to do more cooking videos. I plan to do basically just so much more stuff because now I've got my entire house at disposal. I can effectively do, you know, every type of which video, which is great. So I have way more content. I don't know what specific, but like I said, just general, more content in general. So just more varied content, which I've always wanted to do on my channel. And the last question you asked is, what's your favorite alcoholic drink? Would you ever review alcohol? See, I don't really drink alcohol as such. If I do drink alcohol, it's only really like a fruity cider or something like that, because I, I can't stand beer, can't stand wine, can't stand ale, it's just, it's all disgusting. I only really like a fruity cider, which is basically a fizzy drink anyway. Favorite, alco favorite alcoholic drink that would be the Brothers Toffee Cider. That thing is insane. It's super, super sweet, the Toffee Cider. But yeah, it's definitely the Brothers Ciders, and especially the Toffee Apple one. And would I review alcohol? I've reviewed the alcohol-free alcohol in the past, just to give it a try. But would I actually review alcohol? Well, Ultimately, maybe the fruity ciders as such, but there's no point me reviewing any beer or wine because A, you can't really buy single cans on their own. I'm not gonna buy a pack of four or six just to chuck the rest away. And, you know, I find it, I find just, I find all, most of that beer and all, I just find it disgusting. So there's no point in reviewing it when I'm just gonna say it tastes disgusting. So to be honest with you, no. Anyway, so there's Jonathan Gibley's questions. Right, so Jace asks, Oh, this is tricky. Name your top three Fey films of all time. Well, this is really, really tricky. Really tricky because there's so many different varied types of film genres out there, but I'd probably say, see the things, I could say something like, something like Home Alone 1. That is such a classic and just good warming film that you can watch or people have watched over and over and over again. It's just, it's just a brilliant film, Home Alone. And you think, well, really, is it the best? But it's just a film you can put on and just watch and laugh and enjoy. So I think something like that, yes. Now thinking of top three films, well, again, trying to think of Marvel or stuff like that. I really like Oblivion by Tom Cruise. I really like the theme and stuff like that and the theming around it. Um, but then again, I'm thinking, oh, it's tough. It's really tough. I should have made the list of this really, but I'm trying to think of my IMDb 
list what I've got at number 10 and I'm very, very scarce when it comes to 10 ratings. Um, I'm trying to think what else, I mean, I mean, so many of the Marvel films and DC films are absolutely brilliant. It's 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 really tough decisions. I mean, you look at the recent Sami Chi film, absolutely brilliant. I gave it ten out of ten. But again, would I watch over and over again? That's tough. But I think I think these new films are great. But I think a lot of these older films, like Home Alone, I think because they've got that kind of nostalgic old style kind of feel good factor, they're the type of films you can just put in the background and just watch again and again and again and enjoy it so so much so again you could say mr bean mr bean is just so funny it's one of those films that you put on the background and it's just that ultimate laugh so probably films like that but ultimate free i'll be here forever trying to make a decision and trying to make a list it would never it would never um it would, i'd never get anywhere <laughs> question two do you want kids no question three name some of your fave singers and bands right this is where my music taste goes from one extreme to the other extreme so i love bring me the horizons new stuff i love their old stuff is just crap but bring me the horizons new stuff is incredible like their new tracks and stuff a lot of them are really really good banging tracks that you can just put on full volume and just bang your attitude to it. see i love stuff like that but at the same time i love my dubstep i love my drum and bass you know i love sub focus and i love wilkinson and Oh, the list of you know drum and bass artists goes on so i love my drum and bass and stuff like that and then i love my rap i absolutely love my rap you know stormzy and abracadabra and you know and dave and all that type of stuff i love my rap music you know as well because it's cool and it's modern and then at the same time i like some pop not much but i like some pop that gets in the chart like for example i love i love ariana grande her voice is just in perfect you know her voice is just perfect I love a lot of stuff like that. I love Ellie Goulding, so I do like a lot of stuff like that. But at the same time, I also like a lot of EDM and house and trance and stuff like that. So I've got a big, wide, varied thing. But when it comes to like, when it comes to like metal and and country and stuff like that, oh, I couldn't think of anything worse. So like 70s, 80s, arrogant 80s music, 70s music, it's crap. Most of it is just utter nonsense. Like. The Beatles, the worst band in the world. I've never heard such trash and utter garbage in my life. I literally listened to some of the Beatles songs and they are just absolutely shocking. There's just no interest of any stuff like that. So stuff like that is just trash. They all should be binned off. Rolling Stones, all that crap. They should be binned off. Absolute garbage music. But yeah, all this nice new modern rap, brilliant good music. I like stuff like that. Um, well, yeah, singers and bands, I've just gone through that, haven't I? Would you say you hold any uh, begated or dated opinions or you're pretty open-minded? I'm open-minded about everything in discussion, but I, I personally hold some very, very strong and classic non-cancel culture views. So, for example, obviously, recently, they changed gingerbread men to gingerbread people. I'm sorry, but it's a freaking biscuit. Call it gingerbread men. You know, it's a gingerbread biscuit, for Christ's sake. Another one I recently saw was Midget Gems. They're now trying to ban Midget Gems because Midget Gems are apparent, apparently offensive, uh, offensive, offensive to midgets. And I'm like, it's a freaking Midget Gem. Like, get a life. Like, stuff like that really winds me up. It's just a food product. Like, I just don't understand it, for God's sake. The people got nothing better to do than moan online about this stuff. Like, seriously, it's a freaking gingerbread men. Move on. It's a freaking Midget Gem. Move on. So all that type of cancel culture stuff, I'm really not, really not in tune with. I really disagree with it because it, it's just a, it's just a freaking fruit product. Like move on with life and actually do something interesting and actually do something good. You know, they've got all the crap going on in the Ukraine at the moment and people worrying about why midget gems are offensive to midget people. Like just, it's ridiculous. So I, I'm, because I grew up in the 90s, I was that kind of the last generation to actually not be snowflake and actually accept things for what they are so you know yes it's, it's like they want to ban like, in fact this week they banned smacking in wales and they're trying to get it banned now in england i'm sorry but my parents and then their parents got smacked when they was a kid they stepped out of line and my generation was probably the last generation to get smacked if we stepped out of line and people i'm not about whacking and slapping a kid to pieces but you get people, you get people saying, "Oh, you know what? Oh, my little Timmy, sit him in the corner, have a have a quiet chat and reflect." Oh, for God's sake, get a grip! You know what I mean? You know, if I stepped out of line, 
I knew about it. And am I, am I deluded? No. Am I ill in the head? No. Yes, there'll always be a small percentage of people that will that will suffer from smacking, but there's always a small percentage of people in every walks of life, in every scenario, that always are affected by something. People get affected by a cardboard box, and people get affected by that light. Yet you can't pander down to the 1% of the population that get affected by something. So as far as I'm concerned, the generation now where they don't get any discipline or any, you know, any, you know, any discipline, they'll, they'll just be the cotton wool covered, you know, unruly people, which is a shame because it's just, it's going in the wrong direction. But stuff like that, I'm really, you know, back in the old days, keep it how it used to be because it worked and it did work and it was good. And this is how we should be. We're human for Christ's sake, you know, just deal with it. So I'm really, when it comes to stuff like that, I'm just, Ah, oh, it's ridiculous. And the internet hasn't, the internet hasn't helped. Um, name some of your favourite YouTubers. Oh, okay. So Fortunate, uh, Atomic Shrimp, Vsauce, 1, 2, and 3. Um, oh, Christ, I'm trying to think. Um, Trump, as in Halfstone Trump. Um, Zeddy, Zeddy Halfstone. Um, you've got all of the... Oh, there's so many, I can't think now. You've got all the... Uh, you know, with all the science channels like, you know, Size Show and all that stuff, which are just good watches. And you've got, um, well, yeah, that's some of my favourite ones. I mean, I'm trying to think of more off the top of my head. I, I do watch quite a lot of YouTubers, but I'm trying to think in my head of subscriptions. I mean, you've got stuff like Car Wow as well, which is a brilliant car channel. You've got like DMOGJ. Um, I mean, yeah, they're, they're some of my probably favourites so that I watch. Um, just trying to think of more off the top of my head, really. Had a watch. Um, yeah, they're probably my probably the ones I watch on a daily basis because again, I don't have all the time in the world to watch every single channel. But stuff like that, yeah, I really, really enjoy, really enjoyed it. So, Atomic Shrimp, though, definitely worth checking that one out, guys. Brilliant, brilliant channel. Really interesting. And speaking of that, again, you're thinking of like Ashens. I love Ashens and stuff like that. Um, so basically, all those, all the channels kind of like that. I really enjoy watching. What's your favourite juice? Um. You can't be a you can't be a glass of freshly squashed orange juice with bits. I love fresh orange juice with bits. Did you look back from the childhood years? Yes, because again, because I was a nineties kid, I grew up with kind of minimal tech, and then as I saw the tech advance, I then moved into kind of getting more tech. So I find nineties are the best generation because I remember having you know a PS one, having an old Sony Ericsson Walkman phone, and then it see it advance over the years. The kid these the kids these days get their brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max Plus thing straight out of the box as their first phone, and I'm like, hang on a minute, my first phone was a freaking Nokia brick, you know. So I think I'm quite lucky to see both sides of it, and you know back in the old days when the world was a lot safer and a lot calmer in the nineties and the early two thousands. When we could go out and play and not worrying about getting stabbed or this or that and we didn't have tech you know and TikTok floating around so i really do look fondly back and i think the 90s and the early 2000s were really kind of the last you know kind of great years before what it's what it's turned into now so yeah and again a lot of and again a lot of gaming franchises these days you know, started off obviously mainly in the 2000s. For example, we look at Call of Duty, started off in 2000. Well, I know it started before COD 4 in 2007, but again, being a 90s kid, I grew up with COD 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1. The kids these days have no idea what they missed out on. Those PS, the, the PS3 and 360 era was probably the best gaming era of all time. It was just, it was just brilliant. The old school cards, everything about it was just the highlight of the childhood. I spent hours on those games and I really, would do anything to relive relive it because frankly the cards and everything these days are just crap they're just not the same so yes i do fondly look back uh name one of your heroes i don't really have a hero i don't really kind of look up to anyone or follow anyone to be honest with you i kind of do my own thing and in a way look up to myself <laughs> in a way so i don't really have a hero or anything i kind of just look up to myself really do you prefer full sugar drinks or zero sugar Zero sugar, because you just can't be drinking 60, 70 grams of sugar a day with an energy drink, as well as on top of all the sugar in everything else in your diet. So sugar free, there's no, you know, I enjoy the sugar, full sugar as a treat now and then, but full sugar is definitely, uh, sorry, zero sugar is definitely the way forward. You look at the Monster Ultras, they're brilliant, they taste nice. Who really needs full sugar these days? You know, the Ultras are a prime example. So no, I am, um, yes, zero sugar any day. What's your favorite season? winter 
See, most people will say summer, but the problem is I cannot stand the heat. I absolutely hate the heat. When it's like 30, 40 degrees in England, bear in mind, this is in England, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. The hay fever's bad. You can't sleep properly. Um, it, you're sticky, you're sweaty. Sleeping in my truck overnight is a freaking nightmare because it's you're sleeping in a metal box and you, you, have to, you can't leave the engine on with the air con. You're getting attacked by wasps bugs you get covered in dust your car gets covered in that summer dust your car gets covered in the cast of bugs life as soon as you wash it and take it out for your first drive i cannot stand summer at all don't get me wrong the long light days are really nice because when it's light at four o'clock and gets dark at like 10 o'clock in the evening that is brilliant like the long light days are brilliant but sometimes it's nice when it's dark and gloomy outside and you're inside in the warm and the cozy that's why I like winter. You know, there's cozy nights when it's raining outside, you're inside, you're all warm and cozy, you've got a nice hot meal, you know, you're all wrapped up and cozy. But don't get me wrong, shorts and a t-shirt is nice. Now, I do like mild weather, like when it's around 15, 20. Mild would be perfect, but when it's summer heat, horrible. I cannot stand it. But probably overall, probably overall winter for those reasons. I love the snow and everything like that. But, um... Yeah, or I could say spring to be honest with you, when the hay fever isn't as strong, it's mild weather, so maybe spring, but I just think winter for those cozy things, but then you get sick of the you get sick of the dark days, and that's the problem. So I'm kind of 50, well, 40, 40, 35, 35, 35, but more so winter and not just the summer, it's just the heat. I cannot stand it. When every day is just 30, 40 degrees and it's you can't sleep properly and everything is, you know, you go for a walk and you you melt and it's you can't when you go for your daily run it's you then sweat and and then not everywhere has air con and then you know our roads start melting here in england our train tracks start bending because of the heat and air you know air con starts breaking in the supermarkets we can't deal with the heat here in england and that's why it annoys me summertime and the wasps and the bugs just oh they just it's so annoying like that's one good thing about winter you've got no wasps no bugs and no hay fever which is just bliss in itself um and that's his last question keep up the great work i will do right and those videos getting long but we'll get through it so red pack g asks favorite rockstar flavor probably well it used to be the extra orange blue bee pomegranate and akai before they nerfed it with the sugar with the half sugar tax so it probably was the old extra orange tropical orange which they didn't do for years um again that does they don't make that anymore and it got nerfed um now again i could just say one of the american coffee rock stars and just be done with it but you know i'm trying to think of english rock stars probably probably one of the guava guava ones because the guava ones are really nice and quite favorite probably one of the guava ones but i'm trying to think there is a lot of rock stars out there but it probably probably it was the extruance blueberry pie akai and then i'd say the tropical orange pretty much which they don't make anymore do you drive and if so what car do you have well i do drive because i have done car videos on my channel which i don't expect you to see i currently drive a a corsa e vxr so i know it's a corsa but it's a vxr and it's running stage 1.5 235 brake which on a car that weighs absolutely nothing it freaking flies i used to drive a great big mercedes v6 mercedes it was luxury but it was too heavy and i just i didn't like it really to be honest with you i like a nice lightweight hot hatch car so i currently drive a vxr go watch the channel on my video i'll review the car cleaning product you'll see my car video favorite film well again it's already been asked but probably something like home alone favorite series well, i don't really watch much tv series in general but i really enjoy like the mandalorian stuff and well probably stuff like that see so, yeah, probably mandalorian i really really enjoyed the mandalorian series it was absolutely brilliant and i could watch that again uh mad maj mad Jamma Huck asks, best place to get imported drinks in the UK? One of the websites, like either So Sweet or Goody Sweets or something like that. In fact, I have a discount code for Goody Sweets. Go check it in the description below. You save yourself some discount on um, one of the purchases. Uh, what, uh, what discontinued energy drink do you miss the most? Well, yeah, probably the Rockstar Tropical Orange, to be honest with you, again, because there's not many just pure orange kind of energy drinks like that on the market. And I really, really enjoyed that. So probably the Rockstar Tropical Orange. Best, best energy color drink. They're all nasty. They're all disgusting. 
I really can't think of the best one. The Monster Assault is just disgusting and the Booster Cola is disgusting. They're all nasty. They're all nasty. Don't drink them, guys. They are nasty. But if you are going to drink one, probably... Oh, I don't know. They're all just so disgusting. I would say the Monster Assault, but... I don't know. The Boost Cola probably tastes a bit better than that. The Monster Assault is really, really weird. Um, 5YNK42 asks, favourite Bang Energy flavour? Ooh... Probably key lime pie, actually, now I think about it. Probably key lime pie. That was a really, really nice flavour. Best Carlitos flavour. Well, Carlitos was the Calypso copy, and Carlitos was pretty crap, so none of them. Worst drink? The cucumber water drink, by far. That drink was just, just absolutely vile. Now, I like cucumber, but cucumber water is, is the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted. Even worse than melon. And, and you guys know I hate melon drinks. The shop with the rudest customer service. Blimey. Um, I don't know, really. That, that's, I don't know, really. Um, I don't know, I've been to some corner shops where it's been a bit awkward and weird, I guess. Probably just some random corner shop. Best monster flavour? Again, one of the Monster Javas. Probably Mon Monster Java Swiss Chocolate. It's an American one, but the Monster Java Swiss Chocolate is just insane or the farmer oats monster is just insane it tastes like cereal in a monster can it is incredible but non-american favorite monster like normal monster juice probably the monster ultra fiesta mango that drink is just insanely insanely tasty really really nice but definitely the javas if you include in all the monsters really really nice worst rockstar flavor probably the cola again probably the cola Worst Clipso, um, now interestingly, the worst Clipso wasn't the melon, interestingly, it was prob- Oh, there's so many Clipsos I reviewed. Probably the cucumber one, actually. I think the cucumber one was pretty disgusting. I'm trying to look back on all the Clipsos I reviewed, and probably the cucumber one. It was cucumber and- I think it was cucumber and something else. And yeah, the cucumber wasn't great. Cucumbers just does not work in drinks. And Mr. A41644 asks, what's your favourite video game? Well, this is a tough one again, because, because games have gone from very basic to extremely good. I could just say Horizon Zero Dawn, which probably is my favourite game of all time. And furthermore to Horizon Forbidden West, which I'm currently playing through. But then again, I look back on my gaming career and I think, hang on a minute. I really enjoyed Age of Mythology, Age of Empires and stuff like that. I really, really enjoyed those games. I played them for years on off and on off. But then I could say Modern Warfare 2. I spent hours on Modern Warfare 2. Like most people did, so I could say Modern Warfare 2. But then I look back on my childhood again and think I really enjoyed Theme Park World, which is a um if you're if you're from America, I think it was called Sim Theme Park, something like that. So I think overall, favourite story game, probably Horizon, favourite multiplayer game, Modern Warfare 2 or COD 4, and favourite kind of classic game, probably Theme Park World on the PC because I love that game. I love theme parks. I love the theme of that game. I love the aspect of the game. I actually done free playthroughs of that game on my channel. So go look it out. It's called Theme Park World. Again, if you're in America, it's called Sim Theme Park. And further than that, there's also another game called Theme Park Inc, which is kind of a successor to Theme Park World. I would say we we'll remaster it for Steam or anything. You currently can't play it on like any, you know, any, it's not on Steam or any download code, which is annoying. I wish they'd remaster it. But um, yeah, probably probably Theme Park World overall. I just love that game time and time again. And it's just spent hours on that game. And last but not, last but not least, guys, what is the worst video game that you've played? Um, well, technically, I could just say some crappy iPhone game that I downloaded to my phone. You know, some crappy game which just didn't work properly. So arguably, I could just say that. But in terms of probably main AAA game that I played um that's a tough one because there has been some really crap games i don't really buy games that i really know i'm not gonna like probably i don't know that's a really tough decision because again i could just say some crap iphone game hmm that's a really tough decision probably I'm trying to think back on PS. there's some shocking games with ps3 some absolutely shocking games that just were just rubbish um Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I'm trying to think. That's, that's a tough. That's a tough question, guys. I should have really written that down. Just trying to. 
I mean, again, I could just say it's a crap iPhone game, but that's not really a proper answer, is it? I mean, arguably, I could just say, I don't know, one of the new cards, because they are just absolutely shocking. Like, they really are just shocking. Full of bugs, full of glitches when they released, and my play is just garbage and un unbalanced and unfair. So I could just say one of the new cards, to be totally honest, totally honest with you. That's a tough question. You know what? I don't know. That's a tough question without me going into deep detail and thinking, what game have I really disliked and not liked? Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a tough dust decision. I could just say some crap iPhone game. So I'll leave it at that. So it's a tough question. That is. I don't want to keep the video any longer. So anyways, there were all the questions. So as always, thank you for your questions. I'll do another one of these in probably a few months or something when I've got some more subscribers and stuff. But yes, I hope I answered all your questions correctly and to your satisfaction. But as always, viewers, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.